Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whispers for February 4th. I am live from Maryland. I am uh, here this week on a business trip, so I will be in sporadically uh, trying to get out the unusual prints to you guys as much as I can. I'll be back full time on Friday. Uh, but let's do the whisper. We're going to start with the spy. And we have lots of dark pool levels. They're playing print pong. So the level I'm watching, 327.49, we just went above. So today we'll be bullish above 328. And uh, we could go ahead and test that 330.85 dark pool level. So watch out for that. Uh, we're going to be bearish if we do turn around for a retracement trade below 327. Let's go to the E-minis. E minis, we're going to be bullish above 32.85, coming up to that right now. Bearish below 32.65. The Russell, bullish above 164.50, coming up to that right now. We do have a little bit of resistance there. Bearish below 163.75. If we turn down, we should get a retracement trade. Gap fill retracement. Yeah, a lot of times when we do gap overnight, um, they, they'll usually like to take it down and retrace, but watch those levels. Let's go to the QQQ. Bullish above 225, and we are coming up to that one as well. Bearish below 223. The NASDAQ futures will be bullish above 92.37. 50, we just went above that. And we are going to be bearish below 9200 for the NASDAQ futures. Let's go to the Dow futures. Bullish above 28,700. We just went above that. And bearish below 28,575. Let's go to these oil futures. Check out what they are doing today. Let's see, we just bounced off the pivot. Look at the big volume that just came in. As we touch down there, yep, that is a magical level. Bullish above 51.50 today, that's all the way up here. 52.08, you can see why that's my resistance. That's a Camarilla resistance. And bearish below 50.47. If we do go down and break below this pivot, this is my bear levels going all the way down for the oil futures. Let's go to the gold futures. All right, gold futures are going to be bullish above 15.80, and then that would first be a retracement to the pivot. There's a short little trade right there. Bearish below 15.70, below S1. Those are my levels for gold. Let me just put this away. Let's move on to Tesla. Please don't short this because you think it's gone up too much. I've gotten emails from people. Yeah, let's not do that. Hedge funds go out of business doing that, as we know. Um, no, when we see selling, it already hit all my targets. Look at that. I did send this out um, a while ago. I'll try to come up with new ones. But yeah, I, I got an email yesterday from somebody that just said, oh, I think it just gone up a lot, enough, and let's not do that, okay? When the sellers come in, when we do see big prints, that's the top. All right, let's not try to peg the top. Uh, but we did hit all of our targets. Let me just um, look up. Let me just make this bigger for you guys. Yeah, all right, so... We hit our targets, Nine, 900 is the next big level. Usually it goes to like the last $12.50. Yep, the, uh, sell, you know, we may get some profit taking there, but 900, 910, 42, and then 971, 79, short squeeze. Yeah, a lot of people shorted this thing this week. And they're going to get squeezed really bad. You know, where's the point that you would cover this if you were short? Would it be if it broke over 900? So if it does that, that's usually when you see another surge higher. Yeah, so be careful. 
You do not want to get in front of that bus. All right, let's go to Guild. Guild, we had that big print on. Yep. Somebody knew something ahead of that news. Um, today, we're going to be bullish above 69.20. Bearish below 66.50 for a retracement trade. Just back to the 4 EMA. We're well above the print. 63.79, though. Let's go to Apple. Apple, bullish above 315. We do have dark pull at 316.52. There is a seller on the iNet at 316.38. Let's see if he's still there. Yeah, he is. I'll just freeze this to show you. See this guy? There's our seller. So you definitely want to take profit before him. See or see if he's spoofing. When they take it close to him, is he going to disappear and move his order? If he does that, he's not really selling. But if he stands his ground and gets executed, yeah, you want to get the you-know-what out of there. All right, bearish below 312.50. AMD. Let's put this one up. Hold on a minute. Let's do it over here. Okay, AMD. We are going to be bullish above 49.50. And retracement trade bearish below 48.50 for AMD. So you can see we're bullish above here. And this is our little retracement trade. Uber. Uber looks really good. I've been loving Uber for a long time. And we're bullish above 38. Yeah, key level to watch today. Bearish below 37.20. So there you have it. Those are the whispers for February 4th. I'm going to try to get you some whispers out early tomorrow morning. But again, I do have a couple of really busy days. So I'll do my best to uh, push out as much as I can. Happy trading, everybody.